This screencast will help charter schools complete the October headcount for 2023. Please note that only charters that operate as a residential facility for students who are neglected or delinquent must complete this form. If you have any additional questions related to this data collection, please email me, Laura Pop, using the email address you see on the screen, or my colleague, Dr. Nick Anderson. Last year, this data collection was housed in PowerSchool, but this year, you will just complete this survey via Microsoft Forms instead. You should find this easier as we were able to include instructions and definitions directly into the survey questions. This way, you will not have to toggle between a PowerPoint presentation and your PowerSchool screen. For starters, you're going to enter your full name and your email address. Next, you will type the name of your PSU and your organization number. For question five, you will answer whether or not your charter school is a residential facility for neglected students. You will use the definition listed in number five. A neglected institution is a private, excuse me, a public or private residential facility other than a foster home operated primarily for the child care of children who have been committed or placed in the institution due to abandonment, neglect, or death of their parents or guardians. Think about whether your charter school is an institution that meets this definition. It is important to emphasize that to be considered a neglected institution, your charter school must be a residential facility. Also note that the definition does not include foster homes. If you answer yes, that your charter is a residential facility for neglected students, then an additional question six will populate. This question will ask you to report children age five through 17 who resided at your charter school for at least one day during the collection period. The collection period must run for 30 consecutive days with at least one day falling in the month of October, 2023. For example, you may choose to run your count from the middle of September to the middle of October, or the middle of October to the middle of November. You could even start your count on Monday, October 31st. As long as at least one day falls in the month of October, 2023, you are accurate. Enter your answer here for number six. Backing up to number five. If you answered no, indicating your charter is not a neglected institution, then you will not see question six and you will go directly to question seven. Question seven asks you to pay attention to the definition of a delinquent institution and to think about whether your charter meets this definition. A delinquent institution is a public or private residential facility operated for the care of children who have been adjudicated as delinquent or in need of supervision. This category also includes children in local adult correctional institutions. It is important to emphasize that to be considered a delinquent institution, your charter school must be a residential facility that includes students who have been adjudicated. Answer yes or no for number seven. If you answer yes, an additional question will populate asking you to report the number of children age five through 17 who resided in your charter school for at least one day during the collection period. The collection period must run for 30 consecutive days, again, with at least one day falling in the month of October, 2023. If you answered no for question seven, you will not see a question eight. Click next. Once you click next, you will see this screen thanking you for completing the October headcount data collection.
be sure to click submit below to ensure that we receive your submission. Thank you.